Good morning, children. Keep things in their proper place. Clean space create happy faces. Yes, children. Value for property. You should take care of your things, of your toys, your books, your clothes, your valuable things. Okay. That is the story all about today. The talking dinosaur. And let's read the story now. It was a pleasant sun Sunday morning. Sovin was playing in his room with his friend Ryan. I am bored of playing with ball now. Do you have a board game, Sovin? Ryan asked, looking at the corner clustered with Sovin's toys. I had many board games, replied Sovin, trying to remember all the board games. Oh yes, I know we can play a game. My father gifted me a dinosaur game. Sovin beamed at Ryan proudly. So now it is a story about two friends, Sovin and Ryan. So Sovin and Ryan were playing together on Sunday, and they were bored playing with the ball. So Ryan said, "Do you have any other game?" So Sovin said, "Yes, I have a board game, which is a dinosaur board game. My father gifted me." So now let's see if they find the game. Whoa, a dinosaur game! Let's play it. Ryan said excitedly. Let me look at it," said Sovin. He tried to find the game beneath all his toys, only to find even more clutter. He checked his cupboard, then looked under the bed, behind the table. He looked behind the shoe rack, but he couldn't find the dinosaur game. Oh no! There are so many things here. I cannot find it. Wonder Sovin, realizing that he had forgotten how many toys and games he had. I am here, Sovin," cried a strange voice coming from under the book lying in the corner. "Hurry, get me out! I want to play with you." Sovin looked puzzled and asked Ryan, "Did you hear a voice?" "Yes, I did." Both of them looked, but could not see anything. Slowly, they searched through the books. So now, Sovin was looking for the dinosaur game. He wasn't getting the dinosaur game because. His room was fully messed up with toys, and he forgot where he kept the game. So what he did, he was looking here and there, here and there, and then the, a voice came. That hey, Sovin, I am here. I want to play with you. So come, let's play. So both the friends look at each other puzzled. They said, "Did you hear anything?" This Ryan said, "Yes, I also heard a voice." There it is. Sovin shouted gre gratefully, spotted the dinosaur game. But whose voice was that? Sovin Ryan asked suspiciously. It was me, the dinosaur," replied the dinosaur, peeping out under the book. He slowly emerged out of the book and looked at the boys with wonder. Both the boys were amazed to see a little dinosaur talking. So now the voice Sovin said, "Did you hear that voice?" So Ryan said, "Yes, I also heard." Where is that voice coming for? So from behind the book there came a dinosaur. He said, "I spoke that. I want to play with you." Who? Did you just come out of the game? Can you talk? Sovin and Ryan looked at each other excitedly. We have talking dinosaur. They said, looking at each other confused. You have been here for so many days. Why didn't you talk to me earlier? Sovin asked the dinosaur curiously. Because before today you didn't wish to play with me. In fact, you don't even care for any other toys," the dinosaur said sadly. "No, that's not true. I love all my toys," Sovin said, feeling hurt. "If this was true, you would have taken good care of us. See how we are lying on the floor. You don't even keep your things properly. The ship you got from Russia is also broken," said the dinosaur. So Sovin asked that earlier, "Why didn't you speak? Why are you talking today?" So the dinosaur is saying, because earlier you never wanted to play with me. See, all your toys are lying on the floor. No, you don't love our, to your toys. Everything is broken. So Ryan Sovin is feeling little hurt now. He is right, Sovin. Your room is terribly mess. Can you find any find anything this way? Said Ryan. You never bothered to take care of in, uh, of us. Interrupted the dinosaur. Sovin felt guilty. I am sorry, dinosaur. I know I do not take, keep my room clean. I must keep things back on their place. So, Sovin, thinking about how to 
how he had mistreated his toys. Don't be sad, Sovin. We can clean your room right now," said Ryan. Ryan thought thoughtfully. So now, Sovin is feeling sad because he is not keeping his things on place. So he is saying, Ryan is saying, "Don't worry. We'll clean the room now." And I will also help you," said the dinosaur. "Yes, yes. Let's clean the room," cried Sovin happy happily. The three of them cleaned the room in no time. The room looked beautiful when Sovin's mother came in the room. She was pleased to see Sovin's things in the proper place and said, "This is lovely surprise, Sovin. How can you key clean your how how clean your room looks?" Not knowing that it was the dinosaur who brought this wonderful change in Sovin. Mother, I will always keep my room neat and tidy. That is a wonderful habit, Sovin. Mother patted his back and appreciated. That is the As soon as the mother felt left the room, Sovin smiled at Ryan happily and said, "Yes, we three did it." As Sovin turned back and looked at the dinosaur, he surprised to see no one. Where is the dinosaur? This was a dream. Sovin wondered aloud. So when mother saw the room, she was so happy. She said, "Very good job. You have cleaned your room." And Sovin said, "Now I'm go always going to keep my room neat and tidy." So once the mother left, he hugged his friend Ryan and said, "Thank you for helping me cleaning the room." And when he moved back to thank the dinosaur, the dinosaur was not there. So he was dreaming about it. Sovin was very happy cleaning the room, children. So you should also keep your room clean, neat and tidy. Take care of your toys, children. They are very expensive. Your parents are getting it for you. So keep them on proper place. keep your room neat and tidy and see how happy and fresh you will feel okay i will see you in the next class till that time bye bye and practice all this good habits children take care